Hey everybody, it's Krishanti, and today I've got three easy ways to stop judging and criticizing other people. Now the first thing to notice when someone's getting on your nerves or you find yourself thinking about them too much is to figure out what it is in them that's triggering something in you. Like there's got to be a matching picture somewhere there that's getting you riled up, that's making you feel this way about them. And I know it sounds crazy because what's annoying you about them is probably something that you may not do on a concrete level or some way that you may not act it because they're, they're like nothing like you. Um, but I, tr I totally believe that there is something there. You've got to just kind of dig for it and, and be creative and let your imagination show you what it is about them that you're seeing in yourself or something about them that like, you would want to do or you wish you could be more like or I mean yeah if you're really hating them it's there's something deeper there too like a aspect of yourself that you're really uncomfortable with or angry about so just explore that a little bit and be really open and let the information come to you and let it kind of surprise you because it most likely will it won't necessarily be what you're thinking it is now the next thing to focus on is who you're spending time with because if you're around people that are critical and judgmental you might be sort of more critical and judgmental yourself because of you know their influence on you energy resonates and like attracts like so you do want to spend time with people who have are of a higher vibration if you're evolving your consciousness. The lower level, lower energy people are going to dampen your spirits and lower your vibration, which you don't want to have happen. But even if you're around somebody that's like constantly creating drama or, or, or always mad at somebody or always talking about some kind of crisis or this or that or the other, even if you don't want to be like them, a part of that energy is going to affect you. So distance yourself as much as possible from, from people who are negative, who talk smack about other people, who relish in like like that kind of dramatic stuff that's not nice. And as a side note to that, you know, criticizing and judging other people is downright mean. Not only is it mean, it's nasty. I mean, you can definitely think negative thoughts and I mean, you're only human. We're all human. We're all here to learn and grow. But if you really like kind of tell yourself and think about the fact that you picking apart somebody else is just vile and like not cool in any way and just makes you like lower on your, you know, scale of evolution, it will definitely help you to like move out of that and, and step out of that. And as you step up, people around you also will step up and will mirror you. And then the third and final thing to do to help yourself um, from stop judging and criticizing other people is to really try to see at least one thing about them that's beautiful and wonderful. And you might have to dig deep with some people. You might have to go back to imagining what they were like as a child and some aspect of them that is wonderful. And just focus on that. Just focus on something. Even if you like just really hate somebody, try to get some kind of level of like something about them that is, is redeemable and that is wonderful and nice. And just don't let go of that. And just focus on their spirit. And then, well, you do want to let go at some point. You don't want to keep thinking about them, but like get to that good level and then like, then let go. And then just be like, I'm done. I don't need to think about it. I don't need to criticize you or judge you. We're done. This is done. And I promise you, the more that you step up and, and start to um, stop yourself altogether from that, the better and better it will be. And I don't expect you or me or anybody to be like a saint. I mean, we're here on earth for a reason. You can definitely talk about like little things with friends, but, but try to steer the conversation always to a higher level, to something that's more pleasant. Because, you know, as you talk about things, you magnetize them into your life. And I know you want good things and you deserve them. So um, you'll definitely be able to train yourself to get better and better with this. And for more info on psychic and spiritual development, check out my website at krishanti.com. And if you like this video, please subscribe because I'll be doing more. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.